Welcome back, this is Gaming with Rob. Thanks for joining me on another game today. We're going to have a little experiment. Um, this is a game called Tiny Glade. Um, and effectively it's free roam. You basically um, doodle is probably the best way of putting it. So yeah, you basically doodle uh, with inside the uh, white square that you can see that I'm actually trying to reveal now to you. And you basically create yourself a little home, I guess you would call it to a degree. So I've probably had a couple of goes on this. Um, nothing more. I'm certainly not an expert on it, but I just wanted to show you the gameplay. Um, it's something that I picked up. It was about £12. Uh, that's probably about $15, I guess, something like that. Um, and it's quite a charming little game to be honest with you I'm just getting rid of these trees here so that we can uh, create just a little bit of space uh, for what we're going to try and create today what are we going to try and create? at this stage I have absolutely no idea uh, that's the beauty of it it's just about being creative um, and seeing what you can come up with <coughs> So just bear with me while I get rid of all this. You don't obviously have to. I just like working with a a clean slate, so to speak. So that's quite pretty there uh, to start off with. Ideally, it wouldn't be there, to be honest with you. I'm not the sort of thing I want. But uh, OK, let's get going then. Um, I'm going to start by... Creating, I guess, a little bit of a. What do I want to do? I don't know. Let's have a think. Um, let's have a think about this. So let's just start with creating um, some sort of base. We will take that down there. I'd like to bring this out a bit uh, and we'll take it down again right to the ground we'll create another one right next to it it's a little bit tricky getting used to the controls when you first play the game uh, but you do get used to them after a while You can kind of manipulate these things to how you want them. There we go, that's what I wanted. Oh, didn't want that. Let's see how I can do this. I'll bring this out a bit. Um, what I'm looking to do is get a similar. Ah, that's what I want. And just move that like that to create a little bit of a base. I wish you could copy and paste it, but unfortunately you can't. So you do have to go through this process, unfortunately. But I guess it's all part of the fun, all part of the game. Is that about right? I think it is. I guess what I'm trying to do is create a little bit of a, a little bit of a base. Oh, I want the movement part now. There we go. And if I create another one, that'll give us a little bit of a solid foundation to start off with.
Okay, I think I think that's an okay sort of base to go up on to start off with. I'm not sure that's slightly out of sync, maybe. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I don't think that's quite right. There we go. And that's a foundation for a nice house, I think. <coughs> Let's go ahead and put another one on top of there now. Maybe if we start it about there. Bring that out a little bit. Don't think it's exactly square, but... Okay. Let's have a look and see how that is shaping up. <coughs> Let's don't want it to be quite like that. Nope, don't want that. That's what I want. Let's bring it up a bit. Um, Tell you what we can do possibly. Let's move this out slightly to there. Yeah. Let's bring that out there. And maybe if that's our kind of front of our house, we're gonna we we are gonna create a house. Let's bring this up now. Uh, what about if we put two kind of pillars on the side? Actually built in, maybe. That looks kind of good. Um, and then we'll create a door. Let's... Bit of a pathway there, and then maybe we'll have uh, some windows. Maybe there. That's kind of nice, isn't it? And then maybe. Just a little in there, that's quite nice. Now on these maybe we'll have one there and one there. We'll keep it a little bit symmetrical. That's quite charming. <coughs> Let's go ahead and put a little night light just there, which is quite nice. And then maybe what we can do is have some sort of banner here okay that's nice that's kind of quaint isn't it um, now what should we do on top does that kind of suit it let's maybe change this a little bit let's have a look yeah. Um, let's think about maybe changing the colour of this to kind of match our flags. That's nice. Didn't realise that actually matched it with a little spire there as well. Um, okay, I'm happy with that so far. We've got all this ground behind now. What are we going to do here? One of the things I thought would be quite nice is maybe if we have one of these coming off here. If you raise it, that's it, that's it, that's what I wanted. Mm, what 
much we have? About there. About there, that's about right. Um, I'll tell you what, let's take it back just a tad. And then maybe... Put one of those just on the edge. Let's make that a little bit more symmetrical. Let's have a little bit more symmetrical and let's see what else I can do here. Now what I wanted to do maybe is just get a little bit of a... If I put a spiral on it, I wonder if I can bring that up a touch. I know what I'm trying to do. Um, that's it. And then I would like to create some sort of a kind of pathway through it. Oh. See if we can get some uh, kind of lights. Maybe we'll put these either side here. We should have a little light in the centre. That's quite nice. Um, and maybe, just maybe, we can. Put a little light there. Put a little light there. Twist that around a little bit. Okay. And then we should create a little path. And then maybe what would be nice is if we created maybe a little fence. Just around there as well. Okay. Tell you what we'll do here. Just create a little flower bed to keep in keeping with what we currently got. We probably should have maybe, well, we have to have a door, don't we? Otherwise, how are we going to get out? And then. couple of windows there. Let's come back off that one and create 
one of those to keep in keeping with what we currently got there. We should definitely have a little light outside here as well. Okay. So that's coming along quite nice. Um, I'm just wondering whether we can create a little maybe a little through road here. Um, let's go take that back. There's a little fiddly um, Quite to that extent. It's got a door either side. I really wanted a hole through there. Oh, that is quite nice on that side. Quite give me what I wanted. Um, never mind. Let's carry on with the back of this then, what we're going to do here. I think what we'll do is we'll create another little section here. I think we'll create another little section here. Let's try and make these a bit more symmetrical with each other. just there. Obviously need to move it in so it becomes part of that house. And then we will create another one on top of that. Maybe we'll actually create it with a bit of a bridge. So let's create it there. Let's come back a bit. Take that down. Take it slightly this way. And then create another one just on there. Oh, there's a big gap there. 
Okay. That doesn't have to be an issue. What I almost wanted to do now, let's see if we can do this. I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of... doing it with you, almost. I don't know how to do this actually. Mm, kind of. It's kind of what I wanted. Kind of, not exactly, but kind of what I wanted. I'm trying to create a little walkthrough effectively. Um, now I do want to create a roof on here. Oh, I'm going to take that back, don't want to cut it. No, sorry, need to get try and get my... The only slight issue with that is how would I get there? How would I get up to there? I wonder if I can create almost a tower like that. Yeah, okay. Let's... Oh. Not sure whether I want it that colour. Let's go a more Yeah. Okay. 
okay so it looks quite nice and dainty from the front from the back let's almost make it another almost like a trap door there let's do the same over here That's the wall, isn't it? Okay, so it almost looks like a bit of a ruin back here. Um, so we've seen better days, but at the front it looks quite dainty and nice. Now, <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to do when I come into this game, but um, yeah, it looks okay. What I thought it might be nice to create here as well is maybe just a little bit of a pond, but that doesn't work because if we've got somebody coming in here, what are they going to do? So I could create a little little bit of one here, maybe. That's quite nice at the front. And I will maybe create some trees over this side. Oh, I'm losing my angles, let's go back. Yeah, I mean, how does that look? From the front it looks okay, little sheep there, look. I wonder if I can get the birds. Try and get the birds, but I can't pet the bird. Okay, I'm going to take a little snapshot at that. And I'll use that as my thumbnail. Okay, that's nice. We'll take that as a picture. And I think what we should do as well Maybe just take one of the night. It's kind of interesting to look around, isn't it? Maybe come down a bit.
Is it better at that angle? Better at that angle. That's nice. Let's take that one. Okay. So, this is Gaming with Rob. I just wanted a kind of... Oh, that is nice. Before I go, actually, I'll take another one of those. Oh, didn't stay in that position. It is a shame. How close can I come? I'll take one more. There we go. Okay, this is again with Rob. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed... I'm not going to call it a tutorial. I'm watching a little bit of my gameplay. Um, this is Tiny Glade. It's uh, worth picking up for £12 or $15, $16, whatever it is. A little bit of fun. And uh, you can make some really nice uh, settings with it. I'll see you over on the next video. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up and I'll bring more on the channel. Bye for now.